Welcome to this week's edition of Extreme Desire. This week we're in the back country of Oregon. It's beautiful. It's nice and cool in the mornings, warming up in the daytime. We're hunting mule deer, as always, doing it the hard way, public land, do-it-yourself stuff. This is Jake Oberst, and as you can see, he's already had a little success. Yeah, it was a lot of fun this morning. Great times, thanks Randy. You bet. So we'll get to see this buck, so stay tuned. This week we're gonna start with Sierra Obrist, Jake's wife, and we're gonna take her out opening morning. I'm with them, we get out there, and we start off in these canyons. And what we're doing is we're just working through an old burn. And in those old burns, there's just a lot of deadfall and greasewood, and it's difficult getting around, but sometimes these animals will just pop up out of nowhere in that greasewood stuff, so. And just working along, getting up in high spots and trying to locate animals by spotting off into the canyons and draws. Worked out through there, had a great time with Jake and Sierra. Sierra's a kick and she's a tough little gal, but we hiked several miles that day, looked in a lot of drainages, but we eased up over this one hill and up popped up this buck out of the greasewood. And he's only out there, oh gosh, 75 yards probably. And that's a nice little buck. And she is more than wanting to shoot this thing. But from my angle, and her angle, neither one of us could see him very good. All you see is his head sticking up above the stuff. So she works around, tries to get a shot. She may have had a chance, but she wanted to make it right and it didn't work out. Finally, after a while, the buck decides he's had enough of us and he meanders off. We spotted a, or my husband saw a three point, I said, shoot. <laughs> I couldn't, so we got him to stop. We called did your cow call, got him to stop, hit, hit his head behind the log as we could see his horns in his ears. And kind of just, we thought he bedded down, but he, he didn't. He snuck away on us, never got my crosshairs on him. But it was exciting, it was fun. I need to be a little quicker, I think. <laughs> Opening morning, I went with Neil Peggy and Keela Russell and we went up over this butte um, where there was a burn. It was a kind of a new area I had never hunted in, even though we've hunted this unit before. Um, very pretty, but we're right on top of the ridge and the wind is whipping. And it was real pretty. You could see down into every valley. It was like a 360 degree view around you. Um, good times. You never go anywhere with them when you don't have a lot of fun. Keela spotted some, some does and watched them for a while. Uh, we saw a little sign here and there, but just not a whole lot. It all turned out good. We had a had a wonderful time that morning, so we ended that day with that hunt. I love it when we have these kind of camps where all the ladies and the kids are involved, and several of us ladies had tags in the camp, so that actually makes it more fun too. We can take turns. You know, I can watch the kids one morning while the other girls go on a morning hunt, and vice versa. Or it just makes a lot of fun, makes it fun for the kids, makes it fun for the other ladies, and just makes it a big family event. Well, day two of that, Candy went with Neil and Peg again, on the other side of the hill. Sierra stayed in camp, take care of her kids, and Jake and I, we went, left really early this morning. We wanted to get back in there a few miles before daylight and hunt this one canyon I know of and just down some finger ridges, and away we go, we get out there, and. Jake was wanting to cut across this ridge, and I said, you know, let's look right over here first. In this first hole, there's a rim rock there, and we'll peek down there and take a look. So I eased up over that hill and looked down in there, and just right below the rim rock was a really nice four-point buck. Welcome to Extreme Desire, Western big game hunting. It's not always perfect, but it's always real. Proudly brought to you by Benchmade Knives, made in USA. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitters. Coast Products, professional tools for the outdoors. Hanvog Boots, outdoor footwear since 1921. And Kafaru International, gear for life. 
free range public lands western big game hunting it's our extreme desire